Okay, we're testing the 2019 BMW. Um, I just rode it solo. Hello, can you still hear me? Yes, I can still hear you. This thing adjusts for two passengers, one passenger, weight, luggage, whatever, automatically, which is kind of cool. I will tell you one thing, this thing is a lot easier to, to manhandle around. Are you as soon as you're rolling, there's no weight on this thing, there's no nothing. It just, it's just a motorcycle. It's just so easy to ride. How does it feel back there? I sit higher than I do on your other bike. I can see higher above you. Yeah, well, I w I'm going to ruin that because if I were to get this bike, I would put the seat in a higher position than this. I'd like to be it's, a little bit further away from my pegs. It's not something I would ride, or ride on for a long distance, though. It's um. It's not my RT. Well, I I I feel like I'm on a sport bike. You know, I feel a little bit less secure. Yeah. I guess. Um. And it's funny because I do feel a little bit more vibration on the on the outside edge of my thighs. I don't know. It's it's just like a little vibration, almost like a wind vibrating against my thighs. Well, I can like I said, I can feel more of the road on this than on the RT, certainly. But it sure is easy to ride. I can see why so many people like this bike. Why it's so popular? Because it really is really easy to ride. I mean, we knew that the Boxer engine is well mannered, low, nice and torquey down low, and everything anyway. But just the the low center of gravity, and you know, it's narrow and wide handlebars. It's just really easy to ride. It's effortless it's a little bit rough I, I wonder if there's not a soft you know like in mine it, it's got it's got all this you know the settings we just played with the auto and all that and and but it's also in the throttle mapping is the road rain and but mine also has a the soft, normal, and dynamic in terms of the suspension. And I'm not, I wasn't able to find that on this. <clears throat> it's just auto, and maybe the auto replaced all that and you don't get a choice anymore. But yeah, it is a little stiffer than mine. But when you brake, it doesn't. I don't get fork dive, which is good. Because and I've heard on the Ducati, you really feel the fork dive when you brake on the front. Yeah. But if you get if I get the 950s, that has the skyhook suspension, and that goes away, supposedly. It's just on the base 950 that doesn't have that. I like this better already. Okay, now we're on the Multistrada 950. In case you haven't guessed, I'm still recording, I think. Wow, those pegs are high. It's a sportier bike. You know, it's designed to be ridden sportier. It is comfortable. But yeah, it feels more like a twin. That bah, 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 bah. whereas in the uh, in that boxer, all that it doesn't even feel like a twin anymore. All that you know, two-cylinder thumping is gone. It just feels smooth. And that what, that vibration you're feeling is the the L twin. It's kind of cool though.
How is it comfort wise? I don't know. It's just a seat. I mean, it's. Compared to the other one, what do you think? Seat feels a little bit harder, but like I said, it's just a. I wouldn't want to ride either one of them for a long distance. Just want to go slow in this corner because all that gravel and mud there. Yeah. I'm getting vibration in my seat though, for sure. Yeah, I feel a lot more back here than I did on the other one. I mean, right now I don't feel, now I don't feel it. But boy, otherwise I do. It is, I mean, it's just as easy to ride as the other one. It feels a lot, even smaller. I mean, the other one kind of disappears. This one feels smaller. It's a lot less out in front of me. A lot less bike still in front of me. The seat's comfortable. I tell you, the, the, the gear shifts are hard. You have to really press or pull on this lever to get it to change gears. bike is fun. Okay, back to it. It's 
definitely got more oomph than the 950. Holy crap! It's got a whole lot more oomph than the 950. That's a lot of power. Seriously. It really just wants to fly, man. say my legs when I first get on it and put my feet up on the pegs they feel really high but as I'm riding it they're actually not too bad of an angle you get used to it and they don't feel cramped no this is everything is definitely closer here gravel in that corner. Damn. I mean, I'm nowhere near all the way on this throttle. I'm just... You know, the nice thing about the 950, you can... You know, they say it's more usable power throughout the band, so even riding like this, when I go on that 950, I can pretty much give it full throttle in it and it goes this one I mean you're I don't know if you can see on camera how much it's accelerating how fast but I'm not using anywhere near the whole throttle to get that response out of it I mean that's a lot of engine Yes. The front end dives a little bit. Skyhook, I can kind of feel it intervening. I mean, this thing is kind of insane. Power is kind of neat to have. Certainly handles really nice. I mean, it really handles nice. As fun as this is, I think the 950 will give you everything you want for a less money. The